You're listening to the Sands Fans Network. Hey everybody and welcome to this week's episode of Baseless Speculation. All the pop culture news and all the research so you don't have to. I'm Joel. I'm Jackson. And I'm Joel. Now boys, what do we think is going to happen in Inside Out 2? When you turn 13, you get a bunch of new emotions, and then at a certain point, they go. Yeah. yeah. You want that? I was gonna, like, I was gonna bring that up uh, maybe a bit later, so we don't derail the whole episode. But yeah, well, too late for that. It's crazy that yeah, the mom just has the basic emotions. So I yes. guess when you what, you have a kid or anxiety, you get a bit old, depression. Anxi- no, I feel when you anxiety. It was yeah. anxiety, embarrassment, ennui, 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 envy, mm-hmm. envy. Is that it? Anxiety, the, um, ennui, yeah. embarrassment, yeah. J- jealousy or envy. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Do not another one. <laughs> well, there's f- four OGs, right? Either. Oh, yeah. yeah. Joy, Same. sadness, uh-huh. mm. Fear. Anger. anger, fear, anger. Yeah. disgust. There's five. Was, was disgust an OG? Yeah, boy. Yeah, what the fuck disgust doing well, in the first movie? The I don't sad, remember. Okay. You know, sad oh, was the sad. new one. No, sad is sad is old. Because happy and sad become nostalgia in the end of the first one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, who's the fifth new guy? (laughs) Isn't there? Isn't I'm looking it up on my. I'm going little machine mode straight away. Everything's sweet, and then they're like. No, oh, sad. Is, no, no, sad no, no, no. Just presses a button. Sad's there. Sad just presses a button every now and then because it's like, oh, I fell off the swing. Sad. Sad. Yeah. Like, and anger's there. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. We, or do you do? What does Inside Out start? And there's only no. Joy. There's joy, <laughs> sadness, fear, anger, disgust in the first one. Yeah. Okay. I was very confused at first because I went to the voice cast and. There was uh, Richard Kind as Bing Bong. <laughs> like, <laughs> Bing which Bong. emotion is Bing Bong? Bing Bong's the imaginary friend that gets I, left for mm-hmm. fucking dead in I that I remember ditch. that now. So we have mm-hmm. anxiety, mm-hmm. envy, ennui, yeah, and embarrassment. There's only four new ones. Whoa. Unless I'm missing one, but no, no there yeah. Might, there might be secret ones. Yeah, there's secret emotions Horn. coming. <laughs> horn. Horn. Yeah. H, not P. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Although, yeah. you can mm. be horned for porn. Well, yeah. horn is just like, I guess, you know, a little bit of combination of ennui, embarrassment, and envy. Ennui? Oh, yeah. Well, you're so sad. You're, you're so At the end. bored. You're, you're horny. You're just like, <laughs> eh, I'm yeah. horny. That's dumb. Joy. Joy and disgust. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Joy, disgust, a little bit of fear. A little bit of fear. Absolutely. Embarrassment? Embarrassment. When you're a teenager. Oh, I've right. always. No. <laughs> Having your balls out is embarrassing. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> uh, feeling the wind on your balls is all right. I think if you got to a point where you weren't embarrassed having your balls out, mm-hmm. that's like a line. You've you know? crossed the hill? Yeah, you've, you've crossed the hill. <laughs> yeah, you're over the hill, you've crossed yeah. the line. Nope, you've crossed the you've hill. You've crossed the hill if your yeah, balls in, are out. In our, where, where I live, the, uh, our, our beautiful backyard, uh, used to, we used to have no neighbours that were two-storey. Oh. So sometimes on a nice little warm day, a bit breezy. Air out those balls. Yeah, you want to air some things out, you could have. That's now, nice. That's I nice. cannot. That's I, so sad. I'm man. a two-story neighbor. My bedroom is on the second story, and I accidentally showed a nan my balls. Whoa. But she didn't look away. Did she give you a thumbs up? Uh, no, but she didn't break eye. Well, break eye contact mm. for a bit until I shut the curtains and was like, "What the fuck?" You just probably happened? made that nan's day, dude. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. When we we were growing up, yeah, our neighbor and then on one side of us, uh, yeah. yeah, he used to. So we both we both had two-story houses. Yeah, and he's like, they had a two-story house with like a veranda, but he loved to be like just in the buff. Uh, and sort of like as you know, sunbathe or yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, didn't care that uh, anyone you could, could see uh, his see balls him. and stuff. And then to add a little bit of more drama to the whole neighborhood, oh, yeah. he ended up running away with our other neighbor behind us as wife. Whoa! Whoa. Was yeah. she an always nude neighbor as well? No, maybe but they I bonded know. over here. Your so. tits are out, my balls are out. <laughs> yeah. It's a match made in heaven. Let's have an affair. He he left his wife. She left his husband. That's husband. crazy. Yeah. That's crazy, man. A little bit of, a little Drama yeah. out in the eastern suburbs. Oh of my god! Well, I get you seeing him out there every day, sunning you know. his balls. Yeah, and you're like, Damn. thinking, what if those balls were mine? You're yeah. allowed to be naked in your own house, and if someone 
Peeves. Mm. That's yeah. on them. If it Tom Peeves. Yeah. <laughs> That's on God. <laughs> I don't like being naked in my own home. Why? No, Where know. do you like being naked? I You're a fucking... You live in the shower. What are you talking about? <laughs> I like being naked in the places it's appropriate to be naked, but I'm not a walk around naked kind of guy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. it's appropriate to be naked apart from the shower for you. The, the, sh- the shower mm-hmm. when you're making love. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, I thought it. you were like, you know, uh, penis through hole of boxer guy. <laughs> you kind of give off that energy. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I don't think that's an insult. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> okay then. <laughs> penis through hole of boxer yeah. guy. That's, there's a certain power yeah. to that. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Balls definitely not out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only, hidden. only wiener out. Like you make it, yeah. yeah. Like a kind of a glory hole yeah. that you wear. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you do give off the vibe, right? Well, no. Yeah, but you also give a t shirt on whilst making love vibe. <laughs> you do. That's an awesome vibe. You do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, again, yeah. I don't think that's an insult. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> I take that. I take that with grace. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So, mm. <laughs> so in the new Inside Out movie, uh-huh. Riley puberty's had, here. Puberty's here. Yes. Yeah. It's come knocking, uh, which was set up at the end of Inside Out One. Mm-hmm. Slam the puberty button or whatever, mm-hmm. uh, and puberty arrives. That's how it ends. The, the, all the emotions are standing around like the it, console in Riley's brain. Yeah. There's like, a new light that sh- yeah, starts flashing. Yeah. This is puberty, and yeah. they, I think they all press it. Yeah. What? what? You say puberty comes like it's a, like it's like it's a guy. No, no I mean, puberty's okay, not okay. a guy. Puberty no, arrives I think puberty was on a guy. the human body. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, I'm with you. I've, I've, I, I thought I, I thought I missed the train. No, no, you're no, on, you're on I, board. Uh, I was. I oh, know the door's still open. I'm jumped on. Yeah, like, I'm there. I'm there. I'm and there. then uh, because okay. puberty's here, yeah, Riley yes. now is uh, yeah is subject to four brand new emotions. Mm-hmm. And I guess the movie will be about... And then also we see in the trailer, those four new emotions basically take control. Yeah, yeah well, they bottle up the They original... bottle up the rest of the emotions. Well, yeah, because you're, you know, you're, you're a teen. You can't show anger or joy no, too much. Exactly. Sadness. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to bottle them yeah. up. You're like 14 or 15, and then one kid, he's about burst of anger or a bit of, mm, you know, has a bit of a campy. You're like... Whoa. Disgust, too. Like, Whoa. you'd think disgust would be a big part of it, but no, you got to get rid of disgust when you're a teenager, I think. Mm. Yeah, yeah. you got to be cool. Yeah, and also just cool. like... I don't know, stuff that in later in life you'll be like, that was disgusting. Yeah. You know. I guess the ideal teenager puberty experience is just on Wii 24 7. <laughs> yeah. Just That's like whatever. Depression. <laughs> Only on uh, Wii. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. But it's fun to just pick one. What about positive ennui? <laughs> like, hey, this is all chill. No, oh, that's oh yeah, no, true. Fair enough. Fair yeah, enough. Yeah, I think. Well, you need a combination of yeah, joy and ennui. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> joyous ennui. <laughs> mm, I'm so happy. I care for nothing. <laughs> nothing matters. Pretty sick, eh? I want disgust and anger only. Yuck! <laughs> oh, this is so horrible. Oh, oh yuck! Don't show it to me. Puberty is really funny though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, dude. Oh, you grow up for a bit and then your body goes wrong. Oh, uh-huh. no, your brain is so flooded funny. with the wrong emotions. Yeah, Absolutely. brain's like, I think I know everything. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, you instantly become a genius and willing to fuck anything. Yeah. <laughs> That's puberty. Yeah. <laughs> Get hair yeah. up. Get hair up. up. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hair yeah. in strange places. Oh, acne. Acne, acne. figuring out your body. Yeah. What's this do? What's that yeah. do? If I just tug on my nuts, is that good? Yeah. Oh, right. oh, wait. It's not. Wait a second. What if I did it slightly less? <laughs> yeah. It's not mm. bad. No, I don't <laughs> not hate it. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. It's not terrible to tug a gen- on your nuts. A gentle tug. You're like, oh, yeah, that's... Okay. It's mixed to positive. <laughs> yeah. It's funny to imagine never figuring out masturbating, <laughs> but figuring out tugging your nuts feels kind of good. That's pretty good. Uh, Assuming that's what everybody's talking about. Yeah. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. Teacher, when I tug my nuts... <laughs> and sometimes it takes huh? me like 45 to 60 minutes to come. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Man, Sorry, fuck. kid. <laughs> Just remembering all those beautiful, beautiful times in like high school. Because again, you know, you're 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 yeah. hitting those like in yeah. QB. Don't know what's going on. No, uh, especially in like a Western, I say, mm. uh, very Catholic education. Oh, no. or, yeah. A lot of repression, like repression in terms of any kind of uh, our sex ed was just. Someone showing us a video of a live birth. Yeah, uh, I remember that. Yeah, cool. nice. What a time. Was it a bath birth? No, that would have been a cool. Bath one. No, bath it makes birth. it worse. Yeah, bath can I, birth. Oh, bath yeah. birth. That's really fun Water to birth. say. Water birth. That's actually bath what it's birth. called. Yeah. 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 Bath birth. Bath, bath birth. birth. Yeah. We never birth. got shown how to use condoms, which oh, is funny. Oh, God, no. Like, like, why would they, you always, they always said they were going to show that to us. They were like, because mm-hmm. the first half of our sex ed year, they yeah. were like, 
you aren't mature enough. Yes. For the, you're going to giggle at all the sex ed stuff. Yeah. yeah. So instead, we're going to talk about like drinking alcohol, doing drugs, that kind mm-hmm. of thing. We're going to get it safe for yeah. you or whatever. They had a bouncer come in to tell us about. The times that punched someone in the back of the head and then died. Yeah, except I think she called herself a door bitch. She was like, I'm a door bitch. Yeah, okay. Awesome. Um, and then she was I'm like, I'm 14 door. and don't really know what that yeah. is. What's going on? Also, if you're teaching drug use, teach sex. Yeah, well, what they did at the end of the year. Mm. We but, did a bit of both, I guess, but not well. Did yeah. they, when they, sh- they we showed a, got a condom and I remember that it was like, they, they had like a wooden penis. Yeah, that's what uh, they uh, rolled the condom uh, on. See, we had condom and a banana, yeah. but because we were too immature, some of the people started giggling, and then our science teacher got mad, <laughs> and so then um, that we did, we never we never learned how to uh, yeah put on condom. Yeah, yeah. same thing happened when we were dissecting a sheep's eye. Yeah, uh, some kids started throwing it around, and then we, none of us could dissect the sheep. <laughs> Dude, if you were ever faced with a sheep's eye and you need to figure out what's going on in there, you are ill prepared. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is a retina <laughs> lens? What do you mean? <laughs> Cones to see the cones? Yeah. Did somebody eat that banana at the end? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why not? It's not tainted. It's a yeah, bit tainted. You, rub the, you put the condom on the skin. On the skin. You're not yeah. eating the skin. Yeah, but you? is the banana? Is that one banana being passed around the whole class? Or does everyone get a banana? Mm, you think if, if the banana's passed around the whole class, there's something wrong with it? Yeah. What? The kids have touched it. Yeah, they've touched the filthy. condom on the. It's the skin. And no, filthy. but it's like it's probably. It's I'm warmed not, up by like kid I'm touch. No, thank not you. Not saying if it's mushy fur off. Yeah, I'm not, not saying know. that it's tainted as in like it's germy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The kids are squeezing mm. it or whatever. Yeah, but you, yeah. you, you don't want to eat food that it doesn't matter what the food is. Yeah. If I had been like here. Here's an apple. Mm-hmm. 28 kids have touched it. Well, yeah, that's yeah but I'm going to eat the apple skin. Mm, okay. Yeah, an orange, 28 kids. What about this? A watermelon, uncut. You pass around to 28 kids. Yeah. I don't know what scenario this Everyone is. Everyone touch the melon. <laughs> make a cool I'm beat. proving a point. This is what breasts feel like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one, yeah. One watermelon. All the people with breasts in the class being like, I don't think so. Oh, no, I need to go to the doctor. Mine is soft. <laughs> I'm sick. I don't have watermelon tits. <laughs> Mine are soft. A doctor? What's wrong with me? Mine are soft and not green. <laughs> um, and then you got that watermelon bag. You can eat that watermelon. But I don't yeah. want to. Yeah. You get, somebody pissed on a watermelon. No! You can eat the watermelon. I don't want to. Even I think that, like, whatever, watermelon being touched around handle, whatever like yeah. that. Pissed on? Probably not. <laughs> I, no, 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 you, know in. you know what? I think I would say I don't want to touch or eat anything anyone is pissed on. Of course. I have a controversial <laughs> opinion. Of course. But it's not the option. It's not bad style. style. Okay, Jackson, <laughs> yeah. you're really hungry. Okay. You go into a toilet. <laughs> okay. And there's a watermelon in the toilet. Yeah. Uncut. Yeah. Uncut. The water looks clean. <laughs> yeah. Is it in the toilet bowl? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Safe to eat? Yeah. Use your lot. Okay. So, okay, here's another one. All right, a right, toilet right. watermelon, assuming it's unpenetrated, <laughs> hey, hey, is safe to eat. Have you ever eaten anything, say, out of a bin? No. Like a chocolate? No. Ah, me neither. Jackson, can I ask you the same question? <laughs> I don't think so. I reckon you've eaten cake out of a bin. Do you know I, something I've eaten out of a bin? You definitely have eaten chocolate out of a bin before. I think you've told it on another show of ours called Shut Up a Second. I ate chocolate I found at a, at a bus stop once. Mm. Is that what you're referring he's to? He's changing this. Skin. Yeah. He's definitely eaten like a Twix out of a bin. I reckon I've seen you George Costanza and... style. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you trying to remember times you've seen me eat something out of a bin? I have a memory of you and friend of the show, Zoe. Yeah. Mm. I feel like that a cake got thrown out accidentally. And what, we like raccoons? <laughs> over the I bin. feel like that you decided there was like two slices that were still still, still good. good. <laughs> See, that, could, that, that could be, yeah. Any of the friends of the show, that could be Jackson, that could be Zoe, that could be Cass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Not Adam. No, uh, no, not, Adam. not Adam. But me and Zoe could eat cake out of yeah. a bin. Hayden would encourage it and then make fun of the people that did it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would be yeah, there yeah. too. Yeah, 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 dude, eat it out of the bin. I'm do you like, want some bin cake? Bin. Don't eat no. it out of the bin. Why are you eating out of the bin? Shouldn't do it. It's I still respect good. myself a bit. <sighs> They're eating out of the bin. Yeah. Cool stuff. Anyway, cool I'd stuff. eat the anyway. toilet watermelon, but that's fine. Well, how about, okay, I remember watching a program when you're very, talking about like, you know, disgust. Sure. And so it was like, interesting. So here is a, um, like a toilet brush, mm-hmm. a brand new toilet brush that yeah. I have like bought from the store. It's yeah. still in its packaging. I'm going to unwrap it. And he unwraps it. Then he's got a jug of water. Yeah. He puts it in the jug of water, t- spins mm. it around, whatever, pour, and then pours a glass and is like, would you drink out of it? Yeah. Would you drink that glass? I of probably water? wouldn't. That sounds gross. <laughs> Why? Uh, no, I know it's not. <laughs> But it, it sounds grosser than the toilet so, watermelon. 
But the toilet brush cleans the toilet. <laughs> yeah, but inside the watermelon's still good. It's protected. By what? By the thin it's layer of rind. A brand thick layer of rind. <laughs> so a brand new toilet brush. Yeah. Swir- swirling around in water. Look, I wouldn't eat either. It's, or drink either. it's purely psychological, the I toilet brush. I wouldn't drink anything where it's like a random thing. It's like if I... Yeah. It's like if I had a glass of water and someone just put like a broom handle in yeah, it. Yeah, we were talking like, so this is a, uh, so like a pristine, like a yeah, sterilized, doesn't matter. fresh out of the mm. uh, It'll uh, taste packaging. like toilet brush. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm with you. I'm not going to drink it. I'm not going to drink it. I think it's also be, I, yeah, yeah, but I would drink, brain. I would drink that water that was pierced that got turned into water. Yeah. You know? Yeah, desalin- not desalination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah. De- well, yeah. Desalination, but instead of salt yeah, for just, piss. For piss. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Suck the piss out of some water, I'll drink that water. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I won't drink water that a toilet brush a is foot's going. been in or whatever. <laughs> Somebody yeah. stood on your water. You're not drinking it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Who cares? What have been filtered? What if I've got foot water, right? Yeah. Put into a Brita. You know what? If you put the toilet brush in a glass of water, then pour that water into a water filter and then turn it on, I would drink that water. Yeah. Okay. As long as it gets rid of the taste of the toilet brush. Okay. Yeah, okay. What if it's it there like, like, uh, like a split second? He's not really, you know, going with it. Like, you're not going to get that smack of toilet brush. Uh, I reckon you would get a smack of toilet brush. I don't Remember know. The toilet yeah. brush touch the water. It's going to taste like It's got like brush. a new toilet brush. <laughs> yeah, it's got that famous new toilet <laughs> yeah. brush taste. Yeah. And I'm not a fan. <laughs> okay. Fair yeah. enough. Okay. Hey yeah, there. well, it's um, interesting to see, you know, well, we, we, where, we, where, we, where we lie. We're a disgusting troll man <laughs> who will eat toilet melon. <laughs> we won't. <laughs> Fair enough. Also, I don't think a watermelon would be entirely waterproof, no. like you're claiming. Yeah. Surely it is. It would no. be porous, wouldn't it? It's, it's a somewhat fruit. porous. Not the rind. Not, not like yeah. heaps porous. Yeah. How, no, I don't think so. Let me look it up. How like? Well, how, uh, what are you going to look up? How, how porous, porous is watermelon rind? rind. Yeah. Watermelon float, does that mean anything? <laughs> Actually, it probably does mean something. If a watermelon floats, then yeah, water isn't getting in. Mm. Watermelon rind is not generally porous to something like dirty river water. The okay. surface is smooth, but it can hold bacteria. Uh-huh. That's pores that allow <laughs> ethylene produced during the ripening process to escape. Okay. So, so, so like you, could you won't wash... get the taste of the piss, yeah. but you'll get the bacteria of the piss. <laughs> so you could wash uh, a melon in dirty river water and be fine. Yeah. Yeah. As long as you don't eat the rind. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So yeah. I was going to wash it. So, But if, you, if you're cutting it like melon, yeah. you're going through the rind. Mm. Straight that knife. through. <laughs> yeah. Straight into the flesh of the fruit. <laughs> yeah, well, that's less than ideal. It's like yeah. all, that, all that piss that's like the, like, uh, the tension, the, yeah. the water tension on the top of that uh, melon. The yeah. tension is now broken. And it's Creeps the piss into the crevice. Seep, seeping into the melon. Yeah. Enjoy your piss melon. You know, some you people you know, make like a vodka, watermelon, mm, yeah. or whatever. I'm just doing that with piss, I yeah. suppose. Yeah. 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 Well, I wouldn't eat that. No, fair enough. Um. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, puberty. Uh, what a time. Yeah. So I guess, look, the trailer we get in the movie, the trailer we get of the movie, in mm. fact, if they show it in the movie, I will be surprised. <laughs> we'll, get, uh, we'll get new trailers in the movie. Yeah, yeah that's true. Before that, the that's movie. true. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if that counts as in. Anyway, yeah. uh, Riley's turn 13 started presumably, the, what the fuck? Ele- no, what's the post-elementary oh, yeah. school Yeah, what do they call it? Junior, junior high? high? I think it's mm. Middle is, isn't it junior middle yeah. high? No, isn't it like... <laughs> Oh, it's something stupid. Or is it middle junior? Also, oh, they don't. Uh, they don't. Their school years don't start in like January. No, no it's a mess. It's, uh, it's something like junior, because mi- senior is not no, what no, you no, think. No, 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 yeah. there's high school, then there's a senior in high school, which is the second year of high school. Y- yes, yeah, yeah. Every year has pretty much a different name. Yeah, it's... we go prep. That's the fucked up one. Yeah. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. Then you fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> You're out. Off and into our the school wall. years start at the start of the year and end at the end of the year. I don't year. know what you're doing over there. America's we, uh, like, oh, yeah, I'm on... It's the Northern Hemisphere's fuck, because the UK's the same. Yeah, they think oh, I, I, I start fucking... In the middle of something? It's all to do with I summer holidays, right? I start fucking junior art. I'm British, but I'm going to America. <laughs> no, you're the original Americans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking... So, I'm really excited to start junior high on the fucking... 27th of July or some shit. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. fucked up. Yeah, Who cares you? if you start in winter? Just start in winter. It's not old times anymore. I... Sending a kid to school in winter is <laughs> not going to kill them. them. Yeah. I think it's more to do with Tradition enjoying because... the summer holidays, right? Then put the big, big break in the middle. That's still fine. 
you know, but then you forget a little bit. I think it's more about like you don't want to split up your curriculum that much because you know, look, the the, the child brain is is full it's of holes. Ro- it's rotten. It's full, they're not good retaining memory. Yeah. So you kind of want to be like, hey, have your enjoyment there or whatever. Yeah. And so yeah, they they try to. Someone think, goes for three months. Yeah. That's why you have, have like fucking two weeks. Who cares? They'll still enjoy summer. <laughs> then you're in schools when it's hot as hell. Oh yeah, a hot twenty six degrees. Yeah, in the yeah, UK. yeah. Oh, in the UK, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, oh yeah, they're not that, they're not built for oh, that. I forgot. That's true. They'll to melt, to withstand the blitz, but yeah. not have <laughs> exactly. air Exactly. Yeah, um, Grow up, UK. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Doesn't make sense. F- January first. Yeah. Is it? Oh yeah. That's the new year. I've been in new school. I get it. Yeah. That yeah. makes sense. Oh, it's coming up to the end of the year? School's probably wrapping. Exactly. That makes sense. It makes sense to me. It's good for my brain. Yeah, exactly. Anyway. Absurd shit, dude. Absurd. 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 If Christmas can be in winter, fucking long school holidays can be in winter. Yeah. yeah. People will deal with it. People should deal with it. Or is it to do with um, summer months and it's like, well, we that's when we need the kids home on the farm to help do shit. Is it once again to is benefit once again, farmers? Once again, <laughs> to so much. But Why summer- is so much of our, like... Cultural society to benefit farm. I guess they're where we get our meat. We've got wool. Yeah, the daylight daylight savings. savings. Uh, I know in America it's the the voting on a Tuesday or whatever. Like that's 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 to help the farmers or some some bullshit. Farmers grow up. Yeah, (laughs) milk your cow on a Monday and Tuesday or whatever. I don't know what you do. Hey, milk your cow. I'm a city boy. Milk your cow on a Monday or what do you you think the problem is? Well, fucking apparently. The voting's on a Tuesday because it helps farmers? Something like that. So, like, I don't think you're day... meant to milk a cow too many days in a row. <laughs> yeah. I think you're going to stop getting milk at a certain point. they milk the cow on a Monday so it's ready by the weekend for cheese or whatever? <laughs> <laughs> we were the last five seconds on a farm, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Dusha, why'd you milk the cow? I was ready for cheese on the weekend. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to run a farm, Jackson. <laughs> I am a okay. city boy. Look at these hands. They have never worked another day's day in their life. Come on. I get it, dude. I don't so know when the chickens soft. are going to lay eggs and when they do, what to do with that. Okay. Leave them for a day, but then collect them the next day? Why do you leave them for a day? To sit? It was yeah. to prevent it falling. Oh, what? Hey, what? Prevent it falling on uh, November 1st because this day was considered unfavorable because some Christians observed it as All Saints Day? Oh. Is it a Christian oh. thing? It's even worse. <laughs> At least farmers do some good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. Hmm. Anyway. Did we like it set out one? Did yeah, we we yeah. like that movie. It was good. I don't really think about it very yeah. often. No, though. nor I. I mm. it didn't I do liked it. Yeah, yeah, I think it was all right. Near as much for me as other Pixar films. Yeah. Yeah. Fair like, enough. Like if I even like more modern ones, and this could be a controversial take, mm-hmm. but I don't care. Yeah. And you can't talk back to me, so it's fine. Exactly. But yeah, if you put like Inside Out and like Soul in front of me, yeah. I'm going Soul. Yeah, Soul was great. I really like Soul. better than Inside Out. Mm. Wally better than Inside Out. Wally rocks. What a great uh, movie. Yeah. I think Inside Wally Out is probably yeah. in my bottom few. Yeah. That's only because, well, out of the ones I've seen. Yeah, I haven't yeah. seen Luca and I haven't seen... I really like Luca. I really I liked seen Turning Luca. Red. Yeah. yeah, Turning Red was good. Uh, yeah, Luca to me was really, like, oh, that's a beautiful film, but mm. yeah, didn't, didn't get watched that much. People didn't I quite don't think like so, it. Yeah. Lightyear is the worst Pixar. Oh, oh yeah, by far. Oh. It's awesome how bad that movie yeah. is. And I, w- I wish I could remember where I read this, but there is something, like an interview where the director or whatever, or the writer is like, yeah, we shouldn't have done that. Yeah, that was stupid. That was, it was real bad. Stupid. It, it was really made more sense to fucking make a Woody's Roundup movie. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, or like make at least a... that's got charm and won't be yeah. weird in sci-fi for a child. Yeah, I and mean, like it's, it's crazy yeah. not to just make with the Lightyear movie like a we had Lightyear of Star Command or whatever Buzz Lightyear Star Command. Yeah, like yeah. a kids mm. Buzz Lightyear TV show. Just do that mm. instead of whatever the hell we well, got. No, what if Zerg is... is Buzz from the future? Well, you see, the robots gone... can't say Buzz, but they can say Zerg. Yeah. Well, you see, because we have to be, we got to do it. It's nostalgia. So yeah. the people who love uh, Buzz are now adults mm-hmm. with their own kids. So we got to make it appeal to them. Mm. Yes. But we also have to be like, this is the film that Andy saw. Back in the nineties, yes, and we're going to ignore that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah Should have yeah, just yeah. made a different movie and called it like John Rocket or something, and then just had a spaceman having a good time. And everyone would have been like, "This is good." Yeah, don't make it depressing. Oh, just you make mean it good. the Lightyear of... movie yeah. should have 
just it's been, been a regular yeah. space movie. She's been yeah. John, space, John Rocket. John Rocket. John, John Rocket. Um, you can then, have some of the stuff. And then from yeah, it. Buzz is in like a background character. Don't even put Buzz in it. It's not yeah, a Lightyear I, movie. Uh, okay, okay. I would say yeah, you don't need to. It doesn't yeah, matter yeah. because Lightyear, as we've shown, brand recognition meant jack shit. It made yeah, like yeah. two hundred million dollars, which. Mm-hmm. Would have made people quit their job. Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. That would have been like yeah. this is what a one billion dollar movie and it's going to win awards because it's touching and yeah, yeah. more provoking for a kids movie. And then it came out and everyone's like, "This has look the choice made between me sad. seeing this again and pissing in my pants." Yeah, you're picking pissing. I'm in probably pants? taking yeah. pissing in my pants. At least that's like warm for a bit. A unique feeling. <laughs> yeah, and then you can say you've done it. Yeah. You know? yeah, I pissed my pants on purpose today. Yeah. Whoa, how was it? Because yeah, no. somebody gave me the choice between this and watching Lightyear. <laughs> and I chose this. Yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. Well, yeah, you got to yeah, pay yeah. money for Lightyear. You can piss your pants for free. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's wise. That's a good point. Um, a but good point. I, I, Inside Out, I guess, will always have the novelty of, like, of its premise to keep you entertained throughout the movie, if you know what mm, I mean. Yeah. That sounds like an insane thing to say. They've got Bing Bong the Elephant as, like, a big mm. sad scene. That's- yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But I, just, I mean, for the new movie, the the like the 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 very premise of the movie is mm. entertaining in and of itself, kind mm. of. Like we all got these little uh, emotions yeah. in our brains, and also the brain is kind of it's, like you can go to different places, always yeah. being updated. It's yeah. satisfying to see Riley do something anxious in real life, and then see in her head the anxiety being. <laughs> Mm. Whereas with Lightyear, the the thing you're watching in and of itself is not necessarily entertaining. I'm you know Buzz what I mean? Lightyear of Star Command. I'm in space. And I went to space too many times. Now all my friends and family are dead. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. And I've become yeah. Zerg. Yeah. I'm 12 and this is my favorite film, apparently. <laughs> Andy was Maybe a freak, Andy dude. is experiencing a little bit too much, aren't we? Yeah, yeah well, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> anyway, to answer your questions about the uh, uh, American uh, schooling system. Oh. So we have elementary school, and that's yep. kindergarten through f- uh, fifth grade, so yep. ages five to ten. Then it's middle school, and that's grades six to eight, okay. so ages 11 to 13. And then high school is grades nine to 12, 14, ages 14 to 18. Okay. 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 So, so Riley's studying middle school. Yeah. Yes. Uh, one yeah. thing that I think is cool is that they've given her pimples. Hmm. I think that's, embraces embrace. They've they've made an effort to make her look like a teenager, yeah, hmm. which is good because I think that a lot of other movies, with, you know, might not or a lot of other hmm. production companies, whatever, might not have gone that extra mile to make hmm. her look awkward and gangly, yeah, which hmm. is what you want for a for a movie all about how puberty is yeah. fucking crazy and all of her the people she's trying to impress in the movie are one year older, making them fourteen. And yeah, she's like these are the coolest motherfuckers I've Absolutely. ever do be lay in my eyes on. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, one thing. Oh, so when uh, yeah, she sees that one girl with yeah. the re- shock of red hair, mm-hmm. and she's like, "These people are cool." Now, has there? I don't really go on the internet these days because it's an awful place. It's really bad. Uh, but has I, I looked at that and I was like, "Ah, I wonder if they're going to do like a." Like a I room. have I have some really confusing feelings about mm. this. Mm, how do I feel? Uh, do you reckon they're going to go down that route? And has there already been like once again Disney has gone too woke? Oh uh, no, well, I'm actually no, I'm, because uh, neither Riley nor that person are a black cop, which is the only time they seem to put any type <laughs> queer of queer characters, characters in yeah. Pixar films. Okay, <laughs> that was so yeah. funny. That's so funny. <laughs> it keeps happening. In in yeah yeah yeah. I know it was in on. Mm. They were like, here it is, first queer character, oh, yeah. black cop. Mm. And then, they were, what was the other one? I feel like there's one in Star, Star- Command. Yes, that's Star- right. Yeah, that's right. Yep, yep, yep. yep, yep. I, I think there's also one in Star Wars. <laughs> that's so funny. Huh. Um, yeah, I haven't I, seen any theories about Inside Out 2. Uh, to be fair, though, I'm not on the uh, Pixar yeah. boards very often. Yeah. Don't I, visit R slash Pixar. Would never. I've seen some people talk about it. I've B seen- slash Pixar. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh, I've seen uh-huh. some people saying on Twitter, I've seen people being like, I've seen both. I've seen people, not nobody saying like, oh no, D- Disney's gone woke or whatever. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, I've seen that people. everywhere, but not no, not that. in relation to this. But uh, what I've seen is people being like, oh my God, Derek and Riley's going to have like a queer romance with this character. Mm. And then people being like, it's Disney. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it'll be. <laughs> no. Duh. It's kind of like that. What's that great? Think, cunt. What's that great tweet where they're like, getting queer baited by a Marvel movie is mm. like losing a game of chess to a dog. <laughs> 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 I think that's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> they'll do exactly the same thing that Turning Red does, where, yeah, yeah. Sh- yeah Riley's going to be trying to fit in with this person. Mm. Mm-hmm. And then they'll be 
a very average looking teenage boy mm-hmm. and then like the movie would be like Whoa! yeah oh my god and like, <gasps> yeah and even there'll probably mm. maybe be a callback to that scene I think that's in Inside Out 1 where there's like a factory making a cute boy in her brain <laughs> oh yeah that's right <laughs> I don't remember what that was meant to re- I like I get that it was me- meant to represent like oh a- wait is there a boy in the first one no, I don't think so. What is sad about? No, there moving. is, there is, there is, because there's a scene. Maybe it's like a post-credit scene or something like that where uh, her dad and oh, a boy. That's why they hit the fucking puberty button. Yeah, right? okay. she sees a boy. Yeah, so there'll probably be a boy. There'll be a boy. There'll be a boy, and maybe about a boy. About it'll a... be the same boy from about a boy. <laughs> Nicholas Holt. <laughs> yeah, Nicholas Holt's back oh, yeah. from about a boy. I haven't thought about about a boy in a million. Hugh Grant yeah. sings. Oh no, killing them softly. Is that mm. the premise of that movie? Hugh Grant meets a strange child. Yeah, they Pre- befriend yeah. each other. Yeah, Hugh Grant is, um, he lives off the royalties of a Christmas song. That's right. Yeah. We gotta be and talking gets, about a boy. Ball. And he gets shitty because it's like, oh yeah, it was like November, it's like November 17th. Yeah. Peace, that's like the, was, last year it was like November 19th. Now it's November 17th. When I heard Christmas carols, I'm like, motherfucker, you would be so yeah. mad in the, in the year of yeah. our Lord 2024. Yeah. Where we're gonna get Christmas carols in, let's say August. <laughs> well, uh, the way that our supermarkets in Australia, and I'm assuming globally work is yeah. on uh november 1st halloween out yeah. christmas mm-hmm. in absolutely and then on boxing day so december 26th mm-hmm. christmas out easter in yeah. which oh, yeah. is awesome because hot cross buns rock mm-hmm. but uh just make them available all the time yeah oh, let me like fucking that. eat hot cross buns yeah. i'm gonna fucking buy so many hot cross buns after this i know mm. this is fucked up to say but i really don't like hot cross yeah, buns. yeah it's because you're fucked yeah. in the head and that's okay i really don't have you seen the but how what's what we're seeing what flavor now because now they've got all kinds of I matter flavors. Like that. Well, I had a ve- like... there was a vegemite one recently i saw well, maybe i like that i don't know yeah you probably like that one because like, like oh it's like mm. salty i don't and... like the raisins yeah what about the chocolate one it's chocolate ones like cinnamon yeah. It's like an apple pie I one. feel like this, I could just eat an apple pie. Caramel milk? What about the hot cross bun is good? It's sweet bread. Get a freaking brioche. That's too buttery. Yeah, well, you know, to each their own. I'm very hot cross bun neutral. Yeah. So mm. I don't really mind. No, I'm not uh, into them. They're good. They're, uh, they come in a six pack. Yeah. You just tear two off at a time. Oh, mm. Yeah. See? I like, I just like, uh, you know, gluttony. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Two is not good. gluttony. Six would be gluttony. Yeah, that's I I've done that before. Four is gluttony. Yeah. Six is weird. <laughs> six is gluttony. No, I think extra. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's awesome either way. Actually, yeah, I, yeah. I've never eaten six hot cross buns in one sitting, but I've definitely eaten six hot cross buns in a day. Mm. That, but I get that because you get the bag of hot cross buns there. It's like, oh, I'm wow. still hungry. I'll have another one. Well, well, I might as well eat the rest. That's like you open a packet of Tim Tams. Oh, uh, yeah. Like you're going to put the tip. Th- what oh, lunatic. Yeah, I'll, I'll, ju- I'll just have two. What oh, maniac oh. in this world is like, and I'll just put the Tim Tams back and I'll have them later on. No. No. I'm going to eat this whole I, fucking packet and then I'm going to yeah. feel bad about it. Oh, yeah. I'm going to I'm <laughs> yes. do a bit of a Tim Tam slam, something naughty. Yeah. That was delicious. I'm going to do a second one. That was delicious. Absolutely. I'm going to do a third one. Oh, oh I feel no. real you, bad. You have two Tim Tams regular. Then you get a cup of tea, a coffee, yeah. Tim Tam mm. slam. You finish That's your coffee. Two. You're That's like, go- maybe I'll, that was fun to do a Tim Tam Slam with the coffee. I'll get another coffee. Yeah. Tim Tam Slam, Tim Tam Slam. Six Tim Tams down the toilet. And then you're like, I've only got five left in the bucket. Might as well eat them. Yeah, you eat one, you eat two. You're like, I have to finish them. Yeah. Man. I'm not putting yeah. two Tim well, Tams. I'm, I'm feeling a bit heavy, so I'm going to lie on the couch and maybe watch a movie. Well, I'm, well, I'm watching Tim that. Tim Tams don't, don't make snack. you feel heavy. Tim oh, Tams are. I mean, you eat enough of them. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon I could eat a whole packet and feel fine. That's I would, awesome. I would, I wouldn't. <laughs> but I have like maybe two to three. I like especially with Tim Tam Slam. Mm. Oh, I'm feeling sluggish. No, see, like sweets don't slow me down. Carbs slow me down. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's yeah. fair. I, I eat a spaghetti. I ain't fucking moving. <laughs> huh? Spaghetti yeah. is is poison huh. for Joel Dusha. Wait, no I way. feel spaghetti kind of fuels me. No, wow. no, 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 no. I go spaghetti. I would go for a run off. Yeah, yeah, fair no, enough. After the slowed down, feel like I've been shot by a tranquilizer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Then yeah, I come out. Maybe Saturday. Like, yeah, yeah, let's yeah, go. Yeah, true, yeah, true, okay, true, okay, true, okay, true, okay, true, true, true. Yeah, yeah enough, interesting. Fair enough, fair enough. But then eating a whole packet of Tim Tams would be the opposite. Yeah, it's a sugar rush. Oh well, yeah, so fair. So it's just like I have heaps of energy now, and then it. Slowly slows down and then falls off a cliff. Yeah. But usually in that slow down part, I'll just do something else. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, back yeah. up, back up. Mm-hmm. Have a coffee. Nice. I'm not above having a coffee at like 6 p.m. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, I can't do that anymore. I used to be able to do that. I can't do that anymore. It's so sad. Yeah. Why? I'll be up, up all night. night yeah. That's good. 
Oh uh, no, I like to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like if you need stuff done, it's good that you've got that in your back pocket. Well, that's true. Like that's if you true. need to have a late night, you know, a six p.m. Coffee yeah, six p.m. coffee fine. will keep me going. Where I say I need to for some reason mm. stay up at four a.m. till four a.m. Yeah, so. okay. I will have to be drinking something at like midnight or one a.m. Oh, damn. Yeah. I don't know. So I mean, I could have a six, like a six p.m. coffee, and also have a lovely nap. That's yeah. crazy. My dad's the same. Yeah, yeah, he can have coffee whenever, and he'll keep going. Yeah, right. I, and this something I've noticed. Yeah. I don't know if this is just my fucked brain or whatever. Yeah, if probably. I have a decaf, even at six p.m., huh. I'm up all night. It'll trick you. It'll trick me. I'll be lying in bed, like why can't I sleep? And then I remember that. I remember t- three or four hours just, earlier where I'm like, decaf. oh, a coffee would be nice. I'll grow a decaf, and then I'll be sleeping. No, huh. I'll be awake all night. I remember this is all psycho- you know, it's psychological. Yeah. 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 Can you have a can of Coke and go to bed? Uh, uh, it's easier. Mm. But it still will keep me up. Mm. Yeah, whatever, but it feels uh, more fucked up to have a late night Coke for some reason. Why? I don't know. I don't no, know. With you, it does. I think it's a temperature thing, which yeah. is insane. But I think that's what it is. I think no, that- no, because I'm like, I want like a hot drink before bed or... Like, uh, you know, for yeah. you, for example, like a nice cool glass of milk. Yes. Oh, cool glass of milk. But then, that's the same, that's the same temperature as Coke. As Coke. Oh, I don't know that. I'm, not, say, I'm yeah. not saying, look, it's fucked up. If you're in a situation where you're drinking a can of Coke, then you're brushing your teeth to go to bed. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's fucked that's up. Crazy. But Coke is a nighttime drink to me. Yeah, uh, yeah, I guess. Coffee for the day, Coke for the night. <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> like having a Coke huh. with dinner? That's normal. Yeah, a Coke with dinner. What about a Coke at, like... 9 p.m. That's normal. You go into the movies or something, having a Coke. What about just yeah. in the pro- comfort of your own home? You're having an after-dinner Coke <laughs> to help all your food settle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, fair yeah, enough. A little bit enough. of an extra energy boost to get you through this last te- like episode of Malcolm in the Middle you're watching before you <laughs> yeah. go to bed. Yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Don't be yeah. taking, don't be putting Coke on your bedside table and drinking <laughs> it while you're in bed. Yeah, that's just a good way to ruin your Get a bad, got a nice good book and a can, can of Coke. Of Coke. Yeah. Oh, that seems bad. There's something upsetting about that. Coke I'm actually like, has coffee, sing- tea, and a book? Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Coke Even has... a glass of milk in a book. Great. Coke in a book? Can of Coke in a book? Well, it's crazy because Coke has significantly less caffeine than a coffee. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it makes I'm, more I'm, sense. No, I'm, I'm going vibes. Yeah. yeah, it makes more sense to have a, co- a Coke by a your A cocktail bed. in a book? A great time. Oh, my God. Is it 1974? You've got to be on a beach. you got to be on a yes, beach. Yeah, yeah. I'm drinking, drinking, a co- a pool. drinking a cocktail well. in bed, though? That's funny. Oh, in bed. What about a cocktail in the bath? Oh, good cocktail time. in a bath's good. Yeah. See, drinking a cocktail whilst kicking back on bed, normal to me. Yeah. Doing that, but just swapping it out for a bottle of beer, fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Feels crazy. Yeah. Feels sad. Yeah. yeah. Cocktail in a, in a bath? Yeah. Great. Beer in a bath? <laughs> Smoking a cigarette on bed feels sad unless you've just had sex, then it feels awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Bring back smoking inside. I don't smoke cigarettes, but like I agree. Bring it back. Me neither, but well, bring yeah. it back. I think smoke. Yeah, the the cigarette ban in like a in it really probably did help me quit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's fair. <laughs> Definitely helped me become less of a rat bag. That's yeah. for sure. <laughs> well, it's hard. What was the point of going out? Because you, yeah, some people. I spoke to um, mm. uh, my wife about this because like she was like you know the when and when the cigarette ban came in because like UK did it roughly the same time as Australia. Yeah. Um. So when then she started going out, they figured it out. They figured out the smell. Oh. And so, like, there was no transition period. Yeah. A couple, you know, a little bit like, younger than me. So when she was going out, like, oh, yeah, whatever. Everyone had figured things out. Whereas when I, I was, like, going out, yeah. they'd stop the cigarette in stores. Yeah. We hadn't figured out that, oh, the cigarette, the beautiful smoking was yeah. covering mm. up so much. Oh, I see. And so see. we had the, the horrible, horrible smell mm. of a club at, like, you know, 2 oh, a.m., no. 3 a.m., Hell, People even when it was just, st- it yeah. was awful. And you're yeah. like, you know what? I'm out. I'm, I'm done. And yeah. Uh, yeah, that's how I got started. I think about that on <laughs> airplanes. Like if you could like yeah. if you could smell all the farts on an airplane, imagine. Yeah. Because you yeah. can't for some reason on an airplane. They got some technology that stops the fart smell. <laughs> <laughs> They've stopped the farts, you reckon? Look, do, do you Isn't remember that... the smell of a fart on a plane? No, but you can smell the toilet on a plane. You can't <laughs> smell the toilet, but I'm farting all the time on the plane. <laughs> yeah, we're all <laughs> farting on the time. Yeah, that, right? That's altitude, though. Maybe because it is. that's why they we put more salt yeah. in um, a lot of the food. food we you can't. Can so it better, I, so it's all dull, so we can't smell the farts. Yeah. How bad must the toilet smell that well, you can yeah, still smell? It? It's because you're eating a real salty meal and it, having mm. like shitty coffees because yeah. you have nothing else to do, and then you're taking the worst shit of your life. And everyone on the plane is doing exactly the same yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. True. 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 Yeah. True. It's true. A, like it's a rotation between shit, 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 jack off, shit, <laughs> shit, shit. That's yeah. every every fourth person you see going to a plane toilet. They're jacking it off. They're jacking off the dick they're and bored nuts. as hell. Yeah, exactly. And they're like, at least an orgasm will let me feel some amount of joy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Being yeah. on a plane is not... I. It's just extreme ennui for me. Yeah, oh yeah. I get <laughs> like, it. 
I find it like it's annoying when I get on a plane and can't get in the zone with a movie. Mm. Oh, if I'm aware of the time with a movie, I might as well just be looking at a black screen. Yeah. I'm not taking it in. I'm just paying attention. Like, okay, this scene's ended, so like two minutes have passed. I think on a plane, uh, there's sort of game safe. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I think on a plane, there's like mm. it's. It feels like it would only take one bad thing to happen f- before everybody devolved into chaos. That's what a plane well, feels like. With yeah. a plane, there's only like two bad things that can happen and both of them... <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty bad. But I just feel like we all go down to a, like a baser level when you're on a plane. Yeah. Nothing's real. I, I think you're trapped in there. You're trapped. I think it's all down to comfort. Yeah. And I understand that they, you know, that it's all about capitalism mm. and they made the seats more bullshit so they could sell more tickets. But if we just had a little bit of extra room. Yeah, yo, absolutely. Imagine it was a recliner you were sitting on. Like, oh, in, like a proper recliner. Yeah, you'd be, like, you'd be laughing. Lighter, mate. It goes fully. Mm. Mate. It's business class, yeah. I know. No, as I was saying, I think I've probably told the story, but yeah. I'll tell it again. Like, uh, yeah, the one and only time that we flew business class was coming back from Singapore to yeah. Australia. And it was just after COVID, so it was fucking cheap as God shit. Damn, yeah, dude. <sighs> I got a taste of it. It's yeah, so that was dumb. You go, That's you so go, dangerous. You go all the way back. I'm not kidding. It's like the difference between business and economy. Yeah. It, there is no, like, it, it's, it's, I don't know what, I don't know what, I don't know what you can comparing it to. Fuck, man. It's like comparing the, your best day ever. Yeah. With, I don't know. A being day. being tortured in a in a <laughs> sleep deprivation tank. I I don't know. It's like it's comparing like it's they're they're, they're just worlds yeah, apart. Fuck. It's comparing a beautiful summer's day in like I don't know Australia yeah. where the sun's hitting just right and I don't know being on Jupiter. Yeah. Like it's completely different. Fuck. Like, well, it, I feel like what we it, all need to do is we all need to have like the pet. Travel experience yeah. where we get put in a cage. Oh yeah, yeah. then you're like that's terrible. Then when you go to economy, you're what? like, oh my god. But yeah. It, Sounds quieter. Oh, dude, I know this is insane to say. No, but you're it's genuinely yeah. quiet. Like you know, in in a con- we got noise canceling headphones. Mm-hmm. You need noise canceling mm-hmm. headphones. Yeah. You're gonna fucking travel yeah. noise canceling headphones just for your sake of sanity. Yeah, you I didn't know, need I like them. The noise. You- so in the visit, they gate. They first off, they give you noise canceling headphones mm-hmm. so God you can damn. just wear them if you want to. Mm-hmm. Fucked up, dude. But you don't need them. Fucked up. You stop. just didn't even need them. Yeah, man. The the food ex- was nice. They gave you real cut. Have you traveled warm e- bread? Have you traveled economy since? Yeah. No, dude. Yeah, it's worse than my life. Yeah. Fuck that. Man. It's fucking disgust. <laughs> Sucks, man. You're back there with the animals. Yeah. I never want to fly business Never, class never. That exact no, me neither. Situation. It's ruined no. me. No, I don't want Just that to happen to me. Fucking crammed up there with my little Nintendo Switch, yeah. playing fucking Donkey Kong Country, <laughs> slowly going insane, getting bad at the, getting somehow worse at the game. Yeah. yeah. Stomach feeling, yeah, all the black coffees you've had. Yeah. Stomach gurgling. Exactly. Business class is like, hey, the day before, here's a menu. A oh, chef will yeah. make your Fucked meal. Up, and dude. they have so many options. Business class, like in the economy, yeah. it was kind of like, uh, hey, here's your slop. Um, Hey, sorry, but I, uh, so I did say I, I, th- yeah. I was vegetarian and you've given me a hamburger. Yeah. Can, yeah. What, can I have any? Oh, too it? bad. Um, I'll give you an apple. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Thanks. That was one of my yeah. experiences yeah. going from, uh, yeah. I always remember getting uh, Hamburgers woke. are awesome, though, so I'm team the guy that gave you the hamburger. <laughs> Brother, there's no animal rights in space. <laughs> Play in space. No, yeah. It's a different law. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. I won't tell the people of Earth that you broke your vegetarian edge <laughs> for this you. delicious hamburger in space. There's no laws in space. <laughs> That's true. Name one law. No, in you're space. right. An astronaut could kill another astronaut. No court. You wouldn't even know. Yeah. Probably happens. Probably six guys went to the moon instead of three. How many guys went to the moon? <laughs> three. So with the ISS, six, yeah. I know they're still around. I don't know. I don't know. About that. I, don't I don't know, know what's international space, space station. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. still kicking. So surely there's like the laws of where, you know, like there'd be laws on there's that. There's man's right? law. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so whatever law on like the, the Ten Commandments still apply. <laughs> yeah. But I'm like, like if kind you of. Um, thy neighbor's wife, whatever in space. God <laughs> oh. will still see you. But is it kind of like in, in a, my, what I'm led to believe in international waters, which is also lawless? Yeah. Is it a kind of like if you get a little bit far away from the um, ISS? Then it's lawless as well. So oh. like, hey, I'm gonna go for a spacewalk. Wanna a- come with? Wanna come? How long are these uh, these big cords again? What's the jurisdiction again? 
Oh, Give me that now. I'm bringing this, yeah, my secateurs. Yeah. For gardening? Yeah. For space gardening. Well, come with me, my good friend. <laughs> I, we gotta go prune this asteroid. I really like the idea of just casually taking, I don't think you could just casually have a spacewalk. I gotta stretch my legs. Yeah. I don't know, you're wasting oh, they have, oxygen yeah, maybe? No, it's like a whole thing where they, it's like a lot of prep involved. Yeah. It's all uh, scheduled. Is this true? No. Oh, okay. That on the ISS there's like a little piss hole. <laughs> Like, the, you, you, like, piss in a hole, and it goes out into space? Okay, so here's what you're thinking of. Apollo 13, the film. Yes. Yeah. Where... Tom Hanks. They piss into, like, a hole. Yeah. And he flushes And then he flushes it, it <laughs> and then you see the piss shoot out into space. Well, you don't stick your dick yeah, through a hole. Yeah, what I've converted and, that into yeah. is a sort of, uh, like, glory a glory hole. hole. So yeah. what would happen? You expose your penis <laughs> to the vacuum of space. Yeah, so what would you happen die. then? Okay, um, so... You know your insides would go out of your urethra. <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> You, you're oh, right. you're oh. best and last yeah. come of your life. You're reverse sounding. <laughs> yeah, but we, it's so funny to imagine you stick your dick in the piss out, uh, <laughs> you get sucked out, and then you're just like inside out on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> reverse penis just hold, suctioning on somehow. Oh, God! <laughs> Inverted! Inverted! <laughs> Bring me back in! I'm just skin. I'm just. I've got no skin. Now my skin's in me. Your eyes would be rolled back seeing the. You would. You'd be seeing. I'm it. looking at my own brain. I tried to piss out this hole. Um. Yeah. So no, that is okay. No fair enough. I did, I'd made that up. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um. I yeah. think the toilets just dispose of the waste straight into yeah, space. Yeah, that makes though. more sense. But there's an airlock in between. Yeah. You, know, yeah. Just, you have to Valkyrie yourself to the toilet though. That's pretty good. Does the piss just keep orbiting the Earth? Yeah. Okay. Surely, cool. although they it would could, freeze. Could they, could they yeah. use it for them? Fertilizer? I don't know. I don't know what's going on up there, dude. I don't yeah, want to know. Because you'd frankly. be like, well, we're using this, so you know, we've got we've got to use our resources. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Tanning on like a hide. <laughs> yeah, for the winter months. <laughs> yeah. Um, in Inside Out, <laughs> yes, there yeah. was originally a pitch for twenty five or maybe twenty seven emotions. That's I was too reading many. that before. That's dumb. Yeah, whoever yeah. made that pitch, idiot. Yeah, and I think the emotions in this movie were some of the rejected emotions yeah, from the that first makes sense. one because mm-hmm. this sequel, as far as I could tell, was not initially like planned it was this was not you know the first inside out was not part of a trilogy or whatever mm-hmm. uh right. but but they, they also spoke about it as though it had like an inevitable sequel where they were like yeah, oh it's yeah, done yeah, so yeah. well we can do so much with this premise well it ends with a tease yeah, yeah exactly so i think i think it's a good premise and uh, yeah yeah okay so yeah they were do you reckon they'll do a time jump for the third one and riley's divorced and got alcoholism nah. emotion <laughs> <laughs> that would be sad nah. <laughs> no, I, th- I think uh, it's it is interesting that they go- went with like extra emotions and yeah. not just the emotions kind of evolving. As yeah, it were. true, true, true. Because that happens in the movie um, as well. Yeah, but they don't become guys. They be- they put the new emotions yeah. in little orbs. I think those are like memories, aren't yeah, they? Memories, yeah. yeah, the cool memories, memories are orbs. Oh yeah, but that's right. But the core memories are like a mix between. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because every sh- every core memory used to have one emotion, but now mm. you can have multiple emotions. Yes, because they have. Yeah. She has like the core memory islands or whatever. Yeah, mm. she's got like hockey land and fucking. Yeah. And then like this, this, this thing is like it's a joyous thing, but then it goes yeah. into sad. And but then you can mm. be like, oh wait, we can. Hey, kind of oh, that's right. In the first things. movie, sad's wrecking everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, she's she's too sad because they moved to uh, San Francisco uh, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Um, what do we Rooks think of the, the country? You're gonna eat lots of peaches. Yeah, that's then true. Then it joy. <laughs> For me? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Peaches are awesome. Um. You ever picked a peach from a tree and oh. bit into it? Yeah, I've never picked yes. a peach from a tree and but I've done that with an apple, and Shockingly. it's wonderful. Mm. Warm. What? Oh, yeah, I guess it's been in the yeah. sun. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Like the stone is real mm, hot. Warm oh, peaches. Yeah. Warm peaches? Just like peaches and cream, am I right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude. I don't know what I meant by that. <laughs> I think the only fruit I've picked off a tree and eaten... Yeah. Actually, I don't... Maybe I've never done it. Well, you got to go apple well, picking mate. as a group, as a family. Mm. The only fruit I would have done it with... A scrump is an apple, mm, but I have time. drank milk straight out of a cow. So. <laughs> That's far less romantic. Huh. That's far Just less like cottage green. core to drink of <laughs> milk straight out of a cow. Yeah, yeah. Um, it wasn't from the udder into my mouth. It was udder. Uh, so I pulled udder. Yeah. Shoot milk into bucket. Drink from bucket. That's oh. so disgusting. Metal bucket. Yeah. It's awful. Actually, plastic would be just as bad. <laughs> I yeah. remember you saying it was qu- quite warm. Yeah? Well, yeah, it was straight from, straight from, from the, the source. Fresh, yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Um, Milk only good when it's cold. Farm, you know, it was a, you're a kid going along in farms. Yeah, yeah. Mm. we did the same thing, and there was a little cat there, a little kitten, and it was like basically like 
I guess, feeding from the cow. It was yeah. weird to watch. They Wait, so they full on latched the kitten onto the cow to. Well, no, the, the cat was just like, you know, as they were milking the cow. Oh, was like, getting the leftovers or whatever. Getting the, but the no, extra. from the nipple. Wow. Udder? Nipple? Udder. That's udder. Udder. Yeah, udder. But the whole thing's the udder, right? But one of the things is still the udder, I think. No, that's a teat. Oh, oh straight, straight from the teat. Not a nipple. Yeah. Straight from the teat. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the tip of the teat would be a nip. I yeah. couldn't say. Uh, this, We're these, city folk. Yeah, these are things that we could not <laughs> go exist on a farm. No, I don't know what I'm doing. Mm-mm. So you know, here's the thing. How do you put grain in the grain mill thing or whatever? Well, you got to get it from grain the yeah, plant. I understand that. Well, to into a like soil. <laughs> but what, how do you fill up the silo? Probably you got a machine, a device, mm-hmm. yeah. and it goes because you get. So this is how I imagine it works. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You drive one machine across the wheat. Yep. Which that turns the wheat, wheat it's, it's, maybe it's, let's say it's the thresher. Yep. Yeah. That thrashes the wheat into like a grain. Yep. Yes. Then I imagine you put that grain in another machine that's got like a big tube or jet or something. You drive up to the grain silo, inject it into the roof, mm-hmm. send the grain into the silo. And then what do you do with it? Oh, I, well, couldn't, it's, it's, I couldn't it's say. Do you like turn on a tap and then it comes out? How do you get it out? I mean, guessing, yeah, it'd be like a little opening because you'd fill it up to a certain point and then you go, cool, we're storing that for when we need it. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever then, seen that yeah. little robot that they've got for yeah. grain silos so that people don't grain silo drown? And yeah, give people it a love to right? grain silo drown. Uh, I don't know. Grain silo drowning is so fucking scary, uh, dude. Yeah, you fall in the grain and silo. you can't get up. You just can't, yeah. sw- you can't swim through grain. No, it's, it's so and like... And if you uh, struggle, you sink. Yeah, dude. Yeah. It's fucking scary. It's just kind of like, oh, I'm going to fucking Scrooge McDuck with this grain and then <laughs> yeah. I'm dead. Yeah, if yeah. you fall in a grain silo, I think what you got to do is just literally stay still. Yeah. And you won't sink... Mm. But you're going to struggle to breathe as well, move. I think. Yeah, because yeah, it's like because you're you the crushing weight yeah. of grain you have to against go you. Flat and trying like you know lay, yeah. Lay if you want to go across grain, yeah, you got to go flat like a spider because you yeah. get the surface area, you're less likely to sink. Yeah. But if you j- jump in there, you, you Scrooge McDuck, if you're like I'm so rich in grain, I want to yeah. I want to kill myself. <laughs> I think the first person that's like I'm a, I'm so rich in grain, I'm going to jump into. Yeah. Oh, God! Oh, whoa! I did not expect this to happen. At the plan. But or, is that, or, or is that a modern thrill? And the first person that put <laughs> grain in a silo didn't want to do that. True. It's a modern yeah. thrill to drown in a grain <laughs> silo. Yeah. <laughs> Ten bucks a pop, drown in the grain silo. Like, yeah. someone would have had to be, like, oh, jumping off a thing into a thing is good. Yeah. <laughs> what? Nah, because you got cliff faces into water. That's true. And the inventors mm. of the bungee jump in the Amazon or whatever. Yeah, I guess that is true. So I guess it's a... It's not a modern treat. Do the guys, mm. the bungee jump guys, just careen into the earth? I don't know much about the invention of the bungee. So it's 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 a group in the Amazon. I don't know these guys' names, and they build these elaborate towers out of like yeah. sticks and, and and like logs and shit. And then they have these long uh, like vines yeah. that they dry out and they tie to their legs. This is where bungee jumping came from. And they leap off. Yeah. Huh. Now, but I can't. And the vines. Let me tell you, they are not springy. <laughs> So I think it, you're if you, going and then you stop. Yeah, if you didn't know how to do it, you would tear your own legs off. <laughs> um, but I can't remember if they like just like hang and just kind of like pull their bodies, yeah. or if they into the earth. But it's like not At a slow speed. Yeah, or it's not a high enough jump, or like that's part of the thrill. So it's like, like no is it bungee a thing? jumps wouldn't work like that. Is it because it's you, just not springy? Let me find out. Because if it's not springy, it would just be a sudden stop. It's no, a, no, it's no, a no, bit it's, springy, but it's not like a bungee jump spring. Is it like kinda, it's barely? Is it resistance in the sense that yeah, it'll sort of start like expanding and pulling out, but it's not going to go retract back. So uh, it's like you get to a certain point, and it's like, okay, cool, that's going to be like, it's most, it stops you the most, and it just keeps going, and then eventually it stops you. Uh, it's like keeps extending out. Kind of like a, what do you call them, uh, like a telescopic uh, scope type thing? Yeah. Like that, where it's like, it's not going to go in, but it's going to go out. I got the location wrong. So in the Pentecost Islands in Vanuatu, there's an ancient ritual in which young men jump from tall wooden platforms with vines tied to their ankles as a test of courage and passage into manhood. Unlike modern bungee jumping, land divers intentionally hit the ground, Mm. but the vines absorb sufficient force to make the impact non-lethal. Well, there you go. So yeah, it would be. Like kind of like yeah, like a telescopic. Or yeah, just like a little bit of like resistance each time. Yeah, like as it stretches. <sighs> Today is my last day as a boy, as I am going to hit my head on the ground and become a man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we should do that in Western civilization. I agree. Jump, just jump into the earth. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Hit your head to become an adult. <laughs> yeah, it's well, good. 
<laughs> yeah, fair enough. Um, I, I, now that you've mentioned that, I remember seeing like a short documentary about it, and mm. it's wild. So yeah, it's, it's not crazy. just they jump off the wooden platforms, but they don't jump just into like dirt ground. Yeah, it's like a pile of mud, mm. so that it's like a li- there's least, a bit of absorption. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's cool. Hmm. Um, how yeah, do we think this out. movie's gonna end? <laughs> right, yeah, inside out. So boyfriend, your emotions, yeah. love. <laughs> Yeah, so the oh, whole conflict yeah. is going to be like, yeah, the whole, like, oh, I want to fall into a oh, new crowd, but mm. then I'm going to be like, oh, i got to abandon my old friends, and that's going to be a bit of a conflict, yeah. and then she's going to yeah, kind of navigate that, and probably going to be a bit of a shithead. Yeah, yeah. And oh, then, yeah. And then towards the end, less of a shithead, mm-hmm. so that, um, like, envy and that will, uh, like, again, that sort of similar uh, kind of with vibe. With envy, new yeah. friend will also probably be interested in boyfriend as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I think that... Envy to jealousy sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of the same thing. Um, yeah, but I'm I think it, wondering if it's going to be that like oh, okay cool we're going to like uh, figure out how to be this we can be and en- we can be envy and yeah. joyous together yeah yeah like, for we sure can, like you know we can be very envious of you but happy for you mm. to be like you know that kind of stuff I, I think, think it's going to be that working together yeah. again but, and having a bit more of the amalgamation of emotions mm. as opposed to just like hey this thing can be happy and sad it's going to be like it, yeah you know swing for the fence I think that the emotions will get out of her head. <laughs> Oh my the god! Emotions will go to the real world. <laughs> That's so scary. Yeah. What the fuck? And they'll help her get a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Riley will be struggling with her old emotions. They'll get out of that cage of being put on. And they'll go in the real world. Where okay. will they go? To or they go just to school and they'll set up a Rune Goldberg machine that gets Riley and Boy to talk. <laughs> okay. And then when they talk and Riley feels joy again. Her ear will have glowing light come out of it, and the emotions will get, get sucked, sucked back, back in. in. Yeah, okay. that's, that's how the awesome. movie's gonna end. Okay. That's so awesome. Lock it in. All right, my swing for the fence is that we're gonna get like an emoji mech. Whoa! Some kind like like Voltron. That's awesome. We're all gonna come together and 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 make stomp love? around. Yeah. No, no, no. Not like make a, love not as make in love. fuck, as in like no. become the big mech emotion. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. So we're going to yeah. have, like, head of anger, and then the arm's going to be, I don't know, on the week. Anger <laughs> is an important, joy. Yeah. Anger's an important part of love, so it's on the week. I think that this is going to end with the regular emotions absorbing the other emotions. I think it's going to end with, because I think there's gonna, the yeah, lesson yeah, yeah, yeah. is going to be, hey, anxiety is crazy. Or not, yeah, anxiety is, is crazy and envy is dangerous, but, hey, these seemingly... Uh, negative emotions have value, mm-hmm. which you know or, is a lesson oh. to learn. Where it's or like, it is also the lesson of the first. Yeah, movie. yeah. So yeah. I, yeah, I think they're gonna do that again. But it's gonna be also yeah, well, a little bit again. But mm. it's gonna be less about like hey, working together. But yeah, the absorption. So like embarrassment, or it'll be maybe like um, hey, it's actually like part of every. Emo- you can be joy and embarrassed. You can yeah, be yeah. like sad, and embarrassed. You can be angry and embarrassed. So it's also gonna be like well, we're gonna yeah. Mm. All the, all the original emotions will absorb the other emotions. Yeah, um, but it won't just be like a one to one. It'll be like a four to. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you, they're clever, all going to go into them. Yeah. Smart yeah. and well thought out. I'm sticking with my. What if I emotions think so. Go yeah. Real life. Emotions real life. I think. What about emotions go real life and then they go into whoever the antagonist of the movie's brain mm-hmm. is and mm. wreck shop. Yeah. <laughs> just going to beat the shit out of the emotions. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. That's so scary rumble. to imagine though. And it's what if your emotions just went feral on each other? Yeah, what like, happens? It happened I in guess, the last movie. No, but like I mean, they just like kill each other. Like oh. that's a bloodbath. Yeah, mm. then you get just on Wii and you have a happy life. <laughs> okay, nice. well, what, so when the emotions leave Riley, she becomes she's probably a asleep shell? or something. Okay. Well, okay. No, well, she like, just have the bad emotions. No, she left. has the bad emotions. Yeah. Well, they're not actually bad emotions. Yeah, actually. yeah they're yeah. just new. That's yeah. true. So she'll be like anxious or some shit. Yeah, okay. Anxious and yeah, she just embarrassed. Went, yeah. Oh yeah. my god, I don't feel sad. <laughs> 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 so shy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I do. Yeah, I think that you're right. You're right on the money there with the love. Yeah, it's all coming together to make love. No, I don't know. I don't emotion, think they're going to come together to make and make love. the emotion yeah. love. I think that that would be strange to for, to imply that she didn't have that in the beginning. Oh, wait, 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 infatuation. Well, okay, what about we go back to what I said at the start? They all come together to make horny. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's going to be a very interesting thing to skirt around horny in this movie. They yeah. won't skirt around it. It'll yeah, but be, I mean to not, to, you know. Be she's not like going to be like, oh my God, I feel. I need to whack off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It'll be like, a, like turning red dead in a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. true, true, It'll true. be like, you know, we're obsessed with him. I'm not entirely sure why. Mm. I wonder if they will go down that. I mean, she did have a boyfriend in the that, the other one, or a boy she was attracted to, but yeah. it seems maybe like it'll be more about friend politics. 
Yeah. And I reckon it'll do both. They're just kind of hiding it in the trailer. Yeah, yeah, fair, fair. That would make it a little more... Yeah, a little, like, like, like more generic, yeah. almost. Yeah, that makes mm-hmm. sense. Yeah. No, I think the main emotions will absorb the other emotions. And I think in a weird way they'll have done that because people were weird about the emotion rules. And they'll be like, why the parents not got these other emotions? Yeah. And then they'll mm. be like, oh, because they absorbed them. Mm. This, is, this is the five you get or whatever. Yeah. It's kind of like these are the, the, the ones you're born with, yeah. the ones that we saw in the first movie. I think it'll Those just reveal cool the, yeah. And then the it, other ones, just aspects of them. I reckon they'll do, they'll reveal in the adult head mm. that what we're seeing is just like one panel and it'll. Oh, uh, it'll pull expand back. out to. Uh, it's actually like 400 emotions. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or like the, the panel being like, oh, this is like a, uh, whatever they say in this, the, yeah. the trailer, like, oh, this is going to suck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the official yeah. thing to come. And it just pans around to the opposite, like. Yeah. another table yeah yeah, yeah. yeah oh, but to be a kid again you know maybe yeah. they'll put a, all yeah all 27 original yeah. pitched emotions in there 27 mm. is one of them like horny because again I, so I don't think they're not listed it's just that there was 27 oh, okay. planned yeah well yeah they'll just do that yeah all right and then they'll wash their hands of it they'll do this yeah and then they'll be like roll credits mm-hmm. <laughs> and mm. on that note i've been joe <laughs> I've also been Joe. I've been Jackson. And this has been another episode of Baseless Speculation, and we, well, we've been the BS boys. Yeah, make sure you get those little emotions in your head on the on, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't want yeah, them yeah. In, in this army. You don't want them getting loose, dude. No. You gotta squash them with a book. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Bye. Oh, I don't need the background. <laughs>